Have you ever wished EndNote could automatically import PDFs from a selected folder? Organize folders of PDFs into separate groups during PDF import. Automatically rename PDFs with customized settings during PDF import. Create a CV with subheadings for different types of publications just by selecting an EndNote style. Create a bibliography using Cite While You Write with separate sections for separate topics or perhaps for primary and secondary sources. EndNote X7 can do all of these and more. EndNote X7 has several new features to make working with PDFs easier. Many downloaded PDFs have names that do not allow you to recognize the contents of the PDF from the name alone. EndNote can help rename those PDFs during the import process. In the EndNote Preferences, select the PDF Handling topic to set renaming options for imported PDFs based on the contents of the PDF. You can even create your own custom naming convention. PDFs imported will now follow the new naming rules. In the same Preferences topic, you can also set a folder to be monitored by EndNote for new PDFs. EndNote will regularly scan this folder and import new PDFs that are found in it. When I open EndNote, the new PDFs in the selected folder are automatically imported and they will be attached to existing records instead of creating new ones if those records already exist in my EndNote library. EndNote has been able to import a folder of PDFs and subfolders within that folder for some time. With EndNote X7, EndNote can also create a group set with the imported folder name and groups within that group set based on subfolders of the imported folder. In recent versions of EndNote, it has been possible to search the contents of attached PDFs both the publisher's text and your own annotations. With EndNote X7, that capability now extends to the Quick Search feature as well. EndNote styles can now be set to organize bibliographies with subheadings based on reference types. An example of such a style that ships with EndNote X7 is the APA 6th CV style, shown here. And here is an example of a bibliography formatted with that style. You can also create your own styles, such as the one I created for this example. Of course, you may also want to create a bibliography based on topics or other categories of your choice. For this paper, I would like the references about crows and the references about parrots to be in separate categories. as shown in this resulting bibliography. And while looking at this bibliography, you might notice it was created in Word 2013. EndNote X7 is compatible with Office 2013 and also with Windows 8. Remember that I said, and more? You can now insert citations or bibliography entries in PowerPoint using the new EndNote plugin. Please note this is not Cite While You Write as in Word, and a complete bibliography will not be generated at the end of the document for all inserted references. Also, this feature will be available only for Windows due to limitations in PowerPoint on Macintosh. EndNote now syncs with EndNote Online in the background to enable you to keep working while syncing showing only the small indicator on the screen while Sync is active. Shared groups synced from EndNote Online to EndNote on the desktop will now show this small Shared Groups indicator. You can decide to show or hide the Ratings field in Records. In the Preferences, you can set whether Unread Bolding, introduced in EndNote X6, 
is shown or not. Columns in the library screen can now be dragged and dropped into place. It is now possible to copy the record number into another field using the Change, Copy, Move Fields feature. Please note it can only be copied, not moved. Three new reference types have been added. Podcast, Press Release, and Interview. I want to end with a long-awaited feature for all those who work on both Windows and Macintosh computers. The same product key can now be used to install EndNote X7 on both platforms, with up to three computers total per user allowed with a standard single-user license. You can download a free 30-day trial, as well as find free tech support and training at EndNote.com. Thank you for using EndNote. Thank <laughs> you.